got a really nice BMW, it's an M3, it's the F80 shape. And uh, what we've done, we've done an upgrade sound system to this vehicle. Now, the customer wanted the original um, look, so he didn't want anything chopped up or anything added to it. Um, obviously, used the factory um, stereo system and controls, um, but he wanted better sound. Uh, this particular M3 came with um, their BMW Hi-Fi system um, as a factory standard. Uh, it didn't really sound that great, um, especially at high volumes. It, it just got lost. Um, so I can understand why the customer wants a complete upgrade. So what we've done, we changed all the speakers um, that's in, in the car. Uh, it does have uh, what they call under seat woofers. So these subwoofers that sits underneath the seat. Um, I wouldn't really say they're subwoofers. Um, they don't really produce a lot of bass. They're probably more mid-bass speakers than subwoofers, but, but that's what they call them, subwoofers. So we replaced them, uh, but not acting as a subwoofer. And we have actually put a subwoofer in the boot um, in its own box, um, as the customer wanted a bit more bass. Um, everything else standard apart from that. So to actually achieve that, we had to take the BMW Hi-Fi amp out um, and put our own amplifier in there. And what we've done, we fitted the Match 8-Up DSP amplifier. Now, the amplifier has its own built-in DSP. And the reason for that is because the system is actually quite a complicated system. Easy to use, but it's quite a complicated system. And you have to tune each speaker to do what you want it to do. So at the front end, we have, um, we have a, a mid-bass and a tweeter, so like a typical coaxial speakers. But with these BMWs, their actual coaxial speakers are quite small. They're only four inch um, and they're put in the door and they're housed really nicely. So you do produce, get a real nice sound reproduction out of four inch speakers. Um, but however, you could do more. So what we've done, we used the subwoofer, what they call subwoofer that goes underneath the seat as one of the mid bass. So it's acting like a three way speaker um, to give us a little bit more front end obviously rear speakers and that's been upgraded and that's just used as a rear fill just to give a bit more of a surround sound um, and the sub in the back is what's going to give us our bass um, and to achieve that uh, with the with match um, you have to use their software it's not plug and play um, you plug it in and then you have to tune it out the box it is totally untuned um, and it sounds terrible so there's a particular software that's used to do that and this is the software. If you have a look, and within that software, we could adjust every speaker um, that there is. So, and including the subwoofer. So we can turn each one off, tune it to where we like it to be, um, and then start switching them on gradually. Um, and we could do that live. Uh, which is really, really clever bit of kit. Uh, but it works really well. It gets us the result we want to get. So we could achieve the best sound that we can out of those speakers that we fitted in it in this car without actually doing a proper build. And, um, and, and you know, the, the quality is, is superb. It's just night and day compared to how it was when, uh, when you dropped the vehicle off to us. So... That is a speaker upgrade system on this M3. We can do it with other vehicles as well. Um, there's different sort of uh, variations to um, the factory sound system and we can um, do ad adaptations to that just depending on your budget, depending how far you want to go. But, uh, but if you are interested, obviously give us a call.